Don't forget to follow me here, and here, and here, and here, and everywhere! Links will be in the description box below. Yeah! This does not look good. I am very appreciative of the YouTuber86 bringing Broly to his favorite YouTuber Kenny Boy's toys, but something has to be done. Wouldn't you agree, Kenny? Let me ask you something, Kenny. Do you think he's really finished this time? I... I believe so. Well, I'm not so sure. Shall we put him to a little test? <laughs> Broly! Look! It's such a tragedy! Do you hear me? It's your favorite YouTuber, Kitty Boy's Toys! Oh, the horror! He was killed by a stray energy blast! Oh! I'm back here again with another toy review on the figure I standard the movie Dragon Ball Super Super Saiyan full power Broly and this model kit was sent to me by 86 he helped me grab two of two model kits in Japan because he lives there so I really really thank him for sending this out to me so I can get this early so guys if you guys don't know 86 reviews he does a lot of verses uh, videos with different figure, different Dragon Ball figures. So go to his YouTube channel and subscribe to the 86 reviews. So thank you once again for that. And also thank you Tristan Scott the dub up for dubbing my stop motion. And yeah, I am just completely delirious because I have not slept for way over 24 hours. I only had two hours sleep because I had to get this guy painted and I had to get the stop motion done for this review. So what we're going to do is take this figure off the stand, take a good look at the box and take a good look at and take a good look at this figure. Take a look at the box. We have a nice artwork of Broly on the front. And then some of the poses you can get him into. I did not put these faces together so I will not be showing it. It's been rushing through everything. Then you got him on the side here. Storyboard here, him here, and the toy animation sticker to show that this is not a bootleg. All right, and before we get into this figure, he does come with minor accessories. He comes with the fists, also the oh, the open blast key hands. He comes with two faces. He comes with this face, which isn't bad, and this face, which is my personal favorite. I love. This screaming face, it is so freaking badass. And then he also comes with the screaming Goku and Vegeta Super Saiyan Blue face, but I did not care to put those together. So here is the thing that everybody has been waiting for. I did airbrush him. So I airbrushed him twice because I wanted to fix it. Because when I move him around after doing the stop motion, I chipped a lot of paint off of him. Even though I did a multiple finish on him, I shaded the legs. I also uh, colored Ba's ear on the inside, so you can see that Ba's ear is colored. So Ba's ear was uh, airbrushed. Oh shit! <laughs> That's an issue that we have with the model kit. But yeah, Ba's ear was airbrushed 
on the inside to get the lighter tone which looks very good before I just looked like a crappy plastic and then also I hand brushed Bob's ear here at the top top of the tie right there and then also airbrushed the other part of Bob's ear so I went with green fluorescent yellow and some yellow green so yellow green green and fluorescent yellow I went throughout the whole entire skirt to give it that nice uh, dimension look so I can't even think right now <laughs> so delirious I haven't slept and then his body was a hundred percent well his body was airbrushed but hand brush at the same time I also hand brush some of the skirt too legs are airbrushed like I said um, and then the face was hand brushed I hand brushed the face and I also drew the outline on the eye and I went ahead and used the stickers for the scars because I really like how the stickers look and it gives that uh, scar like a raise and then I also did some hints of fluorescent yellow and the thing about this was that I sp wanted to speed up the drying process on the paint. So I went with the heat gun and I accidentally melted one of the spikes. So that's a bummer. But yeah, if you're wondering how to change this hair out. Just change it like so. I mean, change his face out. And then we have like the standard face. And I really like how these faces really capture the artwork in the movie. Especially this one. I love this face. So yeah. Articulation wise, he cannot look up at all. Well, somewhat. Due to the hair it blocks a little bit. He does look left to right. He does look down very, very good. And then his arms go up about that high. Very good. Bicep swivel double jointed elbow which gives you about 90 degrees and he has a hinge and a swivel at the wrist his app can crunch somewhat to the front just a tad and then a lot to the back so the sculpt on the upper body is from the first uh, figure center Broly that we got it does have a waist swivel and then these articulate as well on the skirt which don't bother me none now the issue is the legs reason why the legs keep popping off is because this cod piece is too fat so it pushes out to the side but when you try to use the um, thigh swivel it just pops it off so mine seems to be the right leg that pops off I know JP toys had issues with his and I think it seems to be an issue with all of model kits for Broly so yeah his leg does go up about that high he does kick back about I mean, he kicks back very good you just got to be very patient and hold the legs in so that way it doesn't pop off single bend at the knee which is okay there's a minor uh, hinge because it is on a ball peg there's a minor up and down hinge but he has great ankle pivot so yeah, I mean, I really do like this model kit and it'll definitely hold me over until the SH Figures Broly comes in. Um, yeah, I'm so happy that I got this and I really thank 86 Reviews for getting me, well, actually picking this guy up because I did send him money. Somebody asked if I got this for free. No, I still paid for it, just 86 got it for me because he lives in Japan. So guys, check out 86 Review. And subscribe to him because he also puts up great content as well. Really do love this. Were you guys wondering? I did do put my custom together with this, and he looks great like that as well. Really do like that. And somebody asked if I could put the black head on. Ah, so heads are kind of hard to pop off. All right, so there we go. We have him with the black hair, which looks pretty decent. I like it. I like it more with the Super Saiyan head though. And here is a size comparison. This Broly is the tallest. It's taller than him. It's taller than the other figure I standard. And it's right next to my custom movie figures. 
a lot taller than them and a lot taller than Frieza. So I really like the huge scale on this guy. Makes me wonder if the SH Figures Super Broly movie is going to be that big as well. And here I have Broly standing next to Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta and they look awesome together. I really like these model kits because paint goes a far way. I really love when I see the difference or when I see a figure come to life all because of paint. And I really love the scale on this Broly. He is so freaking huge. If you guys are wondering what paints I use to paint these guys, it is Vallejo and Createx. So there you have it. If you guys have any other questions, comment below the box. Once again, humongous thanks to 86 Reviews for picking me up these guys. Go and subscribe to his channel and watch his videos because he has awesome content out there. Also, thank you to Tristan Scott the Dub Up for voicing my stop motion. He did a phenomenal job at doing Broly's full power yell at the end. I really love how he captured that. So follow him on Instagram or else. And if you have not followed our Franken Culture social media yet, I suggest you do for I'm always posting pics before the videos. If you wanna be one of them cool kids on the block, do so. And if you have not liked this video or subscribed to my channel yet, I suggest you do for I'm always posting up cool content like these. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.